With about 25 ERP gantries going in and out of the CBD area, it is no wonder at all that Shantanites would have something to say about ERP rates and their charges. So it costs you at least about $7 a day if you actually drove. Yeah. One it, of the reasons. It, it underlines the point that I think that MRT is better. <laughs> I don't drive to Yap at the Raffles here. It's so difficult to get a parking lot. So it's so stressful. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so you would rather not drive inside? No, no. I have a car and I park it in the uh, office and I take a train down. But I always think that coming into here after 6 o'clock or even 7 o'clock to pay ERP is exorbitant. Yeah, you yeah. know, in Tanjong Park, uh, there's no traffic. You have to pay 250 <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it ever adds up to more than 2 or $3. At, at least so you think? I think, yeah. I think. So anything more than $3 you wouldn't want to pay? Or you would find it a bit I would, I would. It would probably make me change my behavior, but up to $2, I'd probably just let it go. So you come to town, like say Shenton, how many gantries do you have to go through? If it's by car, it's either one or two, depends on what way my parents take. Do you ever think that it's expensive? Have you ever taken yeah. a cab through? Yeah, it's just very expensive. <laughs> Why do you think it's expensive? Uh, because, I, I don't know, like, if you pay for two, right, I think one is about, I'm not really sure how much is it, but I know it's quite expensive. La. It adds up. La. Yeah, it adds up. Do your parents ever grumble? Yeah, about the always. That is very expensive. Do you take a cab to come here to Shenton Ring? No, I won't ever take a cab. Why? It's expensive. Why is it expensive? Yeah, ERP like what you say, and you have to pay for all the subcharges here and there. Yeah. Yes. How many ERP gantries do you actually have to come into to get to CBD? Um, probably about three. Three? How much do you actually pay roughly? It will co- probably cost me about eight to ten dollars. When I come to the city, I'll just uh, take MRT. So do you think there should be more ERP gantries in Singapore or not? No. It will burn a, uh, a bigger hole in my pocket. <laughs> About five, six dollars, yeah. On a daily basis, isn't that quite expensive? Yeah, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's the price you pay for driving. <laughs> Do you think that it helps with the traffic congestion, though? Not really. No? No. So is that it can any- be quite bad sometimes. And sometimes if there's um accident, yeah. It still mm. gets very long. Mm. Now, do you have any routes to avoid the ERP gantries? Mm, not really. ECP, there's no real... Yeah, because you go by the Nikko Highway, it's still you still have to pay the e- ERP. So either way. Yeah. Uh, like work around here, the parking is so expensive, so I'll just take the MRT. If you do come in to, and if you do drive, how many ERP gantries would you have to actually go past? I <laughs> lost count. Probably about at least three. Which is quite expensive. Yes, it would be, yes. Do you think that uh, the ERP gantries have been effective in helping ease traffic congestion? You have to ask the government that it still crowds out in the mornings. So you think there are still crowds and something else can be done? I'm not sure whether anything can be done. I mean, the population of car keeps growing. <laughs> so it's life in Singapore, isn't it? The ERP is a national identity, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> With Orchard Road being one of the most popular places for Singaporeans to go for their lifestyle and entertainment needs, we speak to some Singaporeans who tell us how they go about and around the 12 gantries in the Orchard Cordon area. Who knows, you may pick up a shortcut or two, so watch out.